Hi, I'm Ryan Miley, leader of Saskatchewan's NDP and a, a family doctor. And, and like you, I've been watching very closely what's happening with COVID-19. And one of the things that I want to talk to you about today is masks. And we've had kind of conflicting messages over time about the use of masks by the general public. And with some good reason, uh, we don't want to see masks that should be used in healthcare, those surgical masks, that kind of equipment being used in the general public and, and not being available in our hospitals and our clinics on the front lines. At the same time, there's a growing body of evidence from the countries that have succeeded in flattening the, flattening the curve, like South Korea, where a major element was really successful testing, tracing of contacts and isolating of positive cases, but they also saw a lot of use of masks in the general public. So what I wanna to talk to you today is about the use of cloth masks, but also a reminder that that doesn't replace the measures we're already taking. Physical distancing, not shaking hands, staying six feet away, staying home whenever we can, that's still the primary way of uh, stopping the spread of the virus. Masks are an enhancement, not a replacement. So with that in mind, let's make a mask. All right, so as we go to make our mask, what are the pieces you need? You need some elastics. We've got a hair tie here, a rubber band. Uh, some folks are cutting off the ends of old socks, whatever elastics you have around, a piece of paper towel, and a piece of cotton cloth. And that's the key, is to have cotton and paper towel. And, you know, there's lots of fancier patterns online. What I wanted to do was show you something you could do without a needle and a thread and in, in a few seconds with materials you've got in your home. So you place the paper towel so that it will be in between the layers of cotton cloth. Fold once, fold again. Here's where your elastics come in, one on either end. Those will be your ear loops. And then we fold. Fold again and, and tuck in. And there we go. We've got a mask ready to go. All right, so there we have a mask that can help protect me and protect others as I wear it out in public. Covers my nose, covers my mouth, has the cotton and the paper towel. Now, once I've been out and, I, and then I come home again, I wanna take it off. When you take it off, don't touch the front. You wanna come around to the back. Take it off like that. If you touch the front, you're more likely to be touching any virus you might have picked up while you were out and about. The next thing to do is to take off the elastic loops, shake it out, get rid of that piece of paper towel that goes in the garbage. And then the mask, you can reuse again. You put it in the wash, soap and water, that kills the virus just like it kills the virus on your hands. And of course, that's the next step as well. Once you've taken it off, you wanna give yourself a good hand wash you wanted to do that before you started making the mask, and, and once again, when you take it off, uh, a good hand wash, 20 seconds, soap and water, so that you get rid of any virus you might pick up while touching it, or just having been out and about. Once again, this is one of the ways that we can stop the spread of the virus and help make sure that masks that are designed for healthcare work are with healthcare workers, and always a, a reminder that this is an addition to not a replacement for the physical distancing that we are doing so well in Saskatchewan and need to continue. So thanks. Uh, if you're going out, try the mask. And every time you can, please stay home, stay safe.